Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today we're playing Minecraft. I left off the last episode, I just made myself some iron chestplate and leggings, and iron sword and iron pick in case I find anything particularly exciting. I need to make some torches. My goal today for this episode is to go cave is to go caving. I found in the last episode a pretty what could be interesting little cave. I'm in the entrance right now. I I have a little blocked off area where I'm setting up my base for now. And I saw what maybe was a spider spawner. It seemed like it probably was. It was a lot of spiders coming out of one space. That's usually what spawners look like. So what I want to do is uncover the spawner. How did... Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. I didn't... <laughs> well, I guess I didn't light this up as much as I thought I did. Um, what I want to do is uncover the spawner, which is under here, under these two ominous looking torches. Maybe it was a zombie spawner? It seemed like something ominous and deadly. So, what I want to do is dig this up and dive in and see. Um, I'm kind of scared, but it'll all be fine. It'll all be fine. I really expected something to just shoot me immediately. What's down there? I'm being so unnecessarily cautious. This is like silly. Hey, creeper. Can I hit you from here? Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Okay. Can I place blocks? No. Of course not. I'm gonna staircase. Sta oh, hi, bunch of deadly guys. Creeper. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Why is that zombie holding a dirt block? That's kind of funny. Okay, I'm gonna staircase down here. Oh, creeper, oh, creeper, creeper, creeper. That was so much for my staircase. Saying creep, turns out that saying creeper, creeper, creeper over and over doesn't stop them from exploding. I thought it was kind of a reverse Beetlejuice. I guess I was wrong. I'm gonna block this off and mark it with, that means unexplored. What I, I, I try to be as safe as possible, like, like s almost absurdly so, when I, when I go caving. I block off everything and mark it with torches before, like, I block it off and mark it with torches, and then once everything looks safe, then I start exploring. So, this... With torches, I'm I, I, I'm gonna invent a a system for myself right now. This is a you're watching a learning experience right here on this episode. Um, first, let me get this coal. So I want to find. To th I had a I had a system before and I forgot it now of marking things that are explored and safe and then so I don't go down them again and then marking things that are unexplored and could be dangerous this is unexplored and dangerous I guess cobble with torches and then I kinda want that iron though so I'm gonna venture for a second Actually, and as it turns out, I didn't even need a... Oh, wait, maybe I do. What was that sound? That was... What's... I think this connects... Yeah, there's my torches. Cool. So this is sort of a... I don't need a... I can block this. So this has been explored. I'm gonna... A torch on the bottom. <clears throat> that doesn't seem easy to remember. 
A torch on the bottom means explored? Whatever, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop thinking about it for now. I was coming down this hallway to get iron. And here is the iron. I have two ingots and four ore now, so I can make a helmet. I wanna get full iron. That's one of my goals here. Okay, so now this is explored. I want to make full iron. Okay, so I guess since it's explored, I don't need to block it off anymore. So that'll mean explored. This is frightening. I'm just going to block this. There's my staircase home. There's a creeper. Okay, this is my this is home. This is iron. Just want to make home as easy to get to as possible. Crap. 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 Could you stop shooting me for a second so I can kill you? Thank you. This is... Okay. There was a creeper here. Now... Okay. Well, this is... If there was ever a place I needed to mark as unexplored and scary, it's this with a creeper place with a creeper charging at me. Okay. <laughs> that if if that doesn't ever look ominous, I don't know what does. Just a wall with torches that say "Keep out, keep out." I'll make uh, some stairs. Yeah, pretty. Okay. I tried to... I didn't... I meant to... Oh, God. An Enderman. I meant to mention this in the last episode, and I didn't. I try to put all of my torches on the left so that I know that when torches are on the left... On the right, I'm leaving. I'm on the way out. And when the torches are on the right... Or the left, then I'm still going in. So, it's a little frustrating when I get to an area that is this wide because I don't want to ruin my system. Um, so instead, I'm going to put torch on a block, I think. That'll be like a torch holder. That doesn't count as a torch. That's not a torch on the wall, so it doesn't count in my what direction are you moving thing. There's, okay. This is very, oh my god. There are four creepers and a skeleton. This is an evil place. This is an evil place. I'm scared. Okay, let him get close to me. Oh, I knocked... <laughs> I just jumped right over his head and knocked off my torch. Okay. I just want to... I should just light this place up, but there's just creepers everywhere! They're creeping! I need a bow. Did I pick up a bow? I did. Wow, this is extremely stu <laughs> That was really stupid. Oh god. And now I have no arrows. Um, well... YOLO. Ah! Oh god. Oh my. Well, that's one way to get rid of creepers, is to run in and let them all explode. That's one way to do it. Not the best way to do it. And kill mobs for you. What am I doing? This is, this is really stupid. Everything I'm doing is really stupid, but it worked. And now, what's going on? There's, okay, this is awesome. Frightening, but awesome. I feel like good. 
I'm like worried about everything. This is a dark, dark place. Okay, so I'm modifying my rule. Torches on the floor don't count for directional indicators. That seems unnecessary. Okay, that looks like daylight up there. So I'm gonna block this off as dangerous. I'm gonna block, I wanna go up there first. I'm gonna block this off as dangerous. Oh, what, hey, stop that, stop that. This is the most useless wall in the world. Where did he come from? Up there. Okay, so that's dangerous. Everything is dangerous. That's dangerous. This is, I'll block it off. Okay, there's more paths. Wow, this is a huge cave. That's awesome. But like, how do you block off and up? Really? You don't. Well, I'll just... I will just do this. Ow. Oh. I'll just do this as an indicator. Danger! And keep an eye out. Maybe... <laughs> you guys are probably like, come on, just... It's not... It's not ultra hardcore, just... Go... Caving, bro. But... I'm scared. I'm sorry. But I'm scared. <laughs> okay. This is the Tower of Terror. Of my own terror up here. Um, this is the most useless wall in the world. I just opened my inventory for no reason. I need some more... <laughs> <laughs> First world caving problems. I need some more stone to block off all these ter terrifying entrances. This is the slowest paced caving in history. Okay, that's dangerous. There's some iron up there, though. I want to get that. I think once... I have a bunch of iron now, so once, I, once I'm once i done blocking off all these dangerous places, I'm going to go back up to the surface and smelt all my iron, and I probably have enough to make full armor, though, boy. Lava. That's exciting. Okay, I'm gonna block that off again. This is a double wall. Okay, and then, oh, there's iron in the ceiling, that's good. And then this is another thing to be worried about. And make a crooked wall put torches on the crooked wall and I think my isn't it pretty that place is scary that place is scary that place is scary that place is scary this whole cave is really scary it does however give me a pretty cool entrance way this like big open room is a pretty cool entrance to my cave I like that I may turn this into some kind of like grand hall like a Mines of Moria grand hall sort of thing just for fun just to make my cave a little more pretty especially if that's a that's a ravine with a lot of splits and these like these entrances have entrances have entrances have entrances and there's a lot of things to explore I I want I want it to be comfortable and cozy and kind of like cave a home away from I don't really have a home so 
home. I want it to be like home until I make one. Which is, by the way, something I am planning on doing pretty soon in this series. I want to build a house. I want to find somewhere cool, nearby but cool, and build a house. It's not fully walled off. I, I want I don't want them to be able to jump over it. Um I wanna find somewhere cool that's nearby, like a, a hilltop or something like that, and build a house. Just for fun. I do I mentioned in the last episode, I'm not really a builder. Like I don't make huge epic sprawling things. But I do like building sometimes. I like cool functional stuff. Like, in my f first, like, single player world that I really went f on for a long time, I made a, um, there's a skeleton up there. I made just like a cool little gate, like, easy little things, like a gate, a fence with a pressure plate that opened and then closed behind you, and then a gate with, like, a door with a pressure plate that opened and closed automatically, like that kind of stuff. It's really simple, but I like I like building things like that that are like functional and useful. They're not whoa glitchy block. Can I not? Why can't I place anything above my head? That's we. That's right. That's not just me. They're falling. Does that have something to do with the torches? I'm placing it. The number is turning, is going down, and then back up like it's fall, breaking and falling. That's very weird. There's iron. I missed. Huh. Let me go get that first. I was heading back to um to start smelting the rest of my iron, but oh, I only missed one. Okay. Well, regardless. I'm heading back to... What was that? That was a scary noise. Scary and, I believe, exciting. I really want to find some cool stuff in here. And scary noises in Minecraft usually mean there's a thing. I'm not sure what the dungeon noise and the spawner noise and the and so-and-so are exactly. I know they have noises, but we'll see what that is when we get there. This looks a little dark. Um, I'm going to do something about these stairs, too. Okay. Let's uh do some iron cooking here. And some torch making. With this, I really like the little paintbrush mechanic. That's really cool. Some torch making. Well, uh, <laughs> that was really, really overkill. Really overkill. Also a chest. I'll put the chest in this cozy nook and just dump all my crap because I don't want to throw anything away. It's really early in the game. You never know what you're going to need. All right, and I will be back in a minute when this iron is done. Dramatic pan. All right, guys, we're back. We um, finished smelting that iron. I got myself full iron armor, got some more iron picks and iron shovel, and we're ready to go take on the terror of that cave. It looked like it was going to be interesting. When I say terror, I mean enemies that we can respawn, or we can heal ourselves from. So it's probably, it's really, that's a little extreme. I think first I'm going to go from here out. So I think I'll start here. So I'll break my torches. If you didn't see in my inventory, I also built a shitload of torches. Sort of by accident, but I built like a hundred and something torches. 
crafted, perhaps is the correct word. Crafted a hundred something torches. Okay, this is a loop-de-loop. -loop. There is a creeper and a spider somewhere. Get the creeper first. They blow up real easy. Oh, there's... What? I'm on the... Okay, this connects. That's good to know about. Skeleton is going to path his way over here. I should probably take care of him. Yeah, he's going to pathfind over here. Okay. Where did he come from, though? Because it's supposed to be... I guess he fell down there. I don't think I can totally block these off. That would be nice. But I don't think it's possible. So... This guy did a lot of damage here. This creeper. What's up there anyway? I don't see anything. I hear spiders. But I don't know where said spiders are. We're gonna go. This is gravel. There's a creeper. What? Ah. Uh. No, that's zoom. That's what do you what? Why did I just zoom in? I mean, I pressed control, but why did my finger do that? What was I trying to do? I think I was trying to shift so I didn't fall in with the creeper. Is that what I was doing? I, s I guess right now I'm gathering. Yeah, I guess I should take out this gravel. I could use this is a huge wall of gravel. Let me get this coal first. Just for the coal. Can't ever have too much coal. And the XP. You can never have too much XP. Maybe one day I will enchant something. Coal really. Coal veins are so long. It sometimes is really silly. gonna fill that in a little bit so I don't get scared by it in the future all right I'm gonna take out some of this gravel just to um, I need I need the the flint for a couple of reasons like one I can't hurt to get flint and steel but most whoa that <laughs> That block was freaking out. Really, I want to get some arrows. I have a shitty bow that I got from a skeleton drop. I'm only get, did I only get four flint? Really? From all this gravel? Maybe, fuck it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll, I'll get it another way. Jesus. This is just like an endless... I don't know if anyone else feels this way about gravel, but it feels to me- Oh, spider. Hi. Hi there. You're creepy. I feel like gravel, when you clear it out, is- Oh, big room. Oh, oh. Big room. Big room. What? Oh, I'm- I get so scared in big rooms. I'm gonna kill this- It's just Minecraft. It's just Minecraft. It's not... These aren't real spiders. That's not a real bat. I'm not taking any damage, because I can respawn my health. And now I'm outside, and this is a ravine. Wow. I have so much to explore in this cave. This is going to be a mini-episode kind of cave. I hope you guys don't mind. I really like caving, and this is going to be a lot of caving. Besides the fact that I want to gather stuff, obviously, caving, I also, um, it's going to get me enough resources to be able to build things. When I just went down here, my FPS dropped to a lot. I wonder if that was, if there's a reason for that? A 
Minecrafty reason. Wow. There is so much stuff here. And that goes up to the surface. Did I see an ore? I gotta light this up. I should really be lighting these up better. But I'm just kind of like running and then freaking out and then running a little more and then freaking out and then running a little more. Well, <laughs> today I learned you can't kill a creeper with an iron sword by just charging at him. That was important knowledge. I needed to know that, and I'm sure one of you didn't know that, and now you do, and suddenly this is an educational show. Who'd have thunk it? I'm not good with creepers. I think I, almost every single creeper I've seen has blown up on me. I haven't even, like, killed one of them. I'm getting a lot of iron, and that's good. Not that... I mean, it's good. I feel like it's good. I should be collecting iron. But at the same time, really, what do I need iron for now? I have my full iron armor. I have my iron weapons and tools. I really... What was that? Oh, jeez. I have my iron stuff. Do I really need more iron now? Maybe. Maybe I do. I'm going to start. Okay. I need to stop running willy-nilly and start blocking off thing. Oh man. I, <laughs> I need to stop running willy-nilly and start being methodical or I'm never going to find it. I'm not I'm never going to explore this whole cave. So that was, so that's blocked off now. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to end up spending like an entire episode's worth of time just blocking off cave entrances. That makes for really good entertainment in case you guys didn't know. Being really careful and afraid of everything is really fun to watch. If you didn't know that, you're about to discover it. Although, actually, now that I say that sarcastically, um, in Ultra Hardcore, which I talked about a lot last episode, I don't want to harp on it too much or fanboy too hard on the Minecraft guys, but... This season of Ultra Hardcore, Ultra Hardcore Season 11, it's been a joke in the Ultra in the Minecraft subreddit that Goo is nervous about everything. It's become his catchphrase to be nervous. Just I'm nervous about the skeletons. I'm nervous about the creepers. I'm nervous about the other people. He's nervous about everything, and it's hilarious and entertaining. So maybe I shouldn't feel so bad about being nervous. Maybe I should be proud to be sort of goodish. Who knows? <laughs> I'm never gonna stop being nervous. I'm just nervous. Just generally. I think I'm gonna allow myself to explore this instead of blocking it. Because what is there to explore? It's an exit. I wanna really, I wanna see where it leads to and if it's, I wanna light it up a little bit. And just, uh, just see what's going on up here. It's daytime. It's daytime out on the surface. We are in a snowy, what is this called? Ice plains. We are in an ice plains and there's just a big ass hole in the ground. It leads to a cave. Welcome to Minecraft. Um, what's this? This is another... Is this another cave? No. This is a hole in the ground. That leads to a hole in the ground. I hate lighting glitches like that. They always make me think that there's something more exciting. Okay, this cow is mocking me. So I'm just real quick gonna... 
gonna get outrun by a cow. Now that I'm done doing that, I am going to... I'm gonna mark this in case I get lost or come up here for some reason. I'm just gonna kinda encircle this with torches as a, this is the entrance to the cave. And maybe I should build a tower. Should I build a tower? I'm gonna build a tower. And then I think it's time to end this episode. So let's see. I'm just gonna tower up here. And put a torch on it and then gravel down. No, I'm gonna put a torch on it. I'm gonna look out in the distance with smoke particles coming up. and ponder where to build my house. I sh probably should be near this cave because I'm gonna be going down there probably for a while. So maybe off there in the hills, maybe off there in the mountains. I don't know, we'll see. But with this lovely view, I bid you adieu until the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.